Yeah, it's uh, I was telling her when we when we started up here, it's like how they, you know, they make everything look so huge and vast, and you have all these things, well, and everything's true. all just sort of jammed uh, up in these little areas. A lot of it has areas. to do with the, with the, because a camera is only two dimensional, so there are some things they can do with a camera that you don't really see. For instance, like in the shooting when they're shooting the gun, Greg's in armor. So every time someone comes on the set with a weapon, they have to be checked, rechecked. If you go out to your truck and come back, it has to be checked. Every time one's fired, you do like an inventory, right? right. Um, so safety is very important. But the thing is, is you never would point at a person when you're shooting because the camera, you, you can't tell the difference from the way the camera angle is. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, on the back side of this building over there, if a production company needs a barn and they don't need delivery, they can use that. If they need a schoolhouse or a church, they can use the other side. <laughs> so it's kind of like a dual, dual purpose. Yeah. The other thing is, is nothing here, there's no infrastructure. So there's no, there's no foundations, there's no electric, there's no water. Everything can be moved. And for instance, the hotel, which we'll see in a couple of buildings, in the, um, it, it was moved. It's actually been jacked up and moved around. Uh, the little ramshackle house, which Paul Newman was in, in the uh, Life and Times of Judge Roy Bean, it started way out of town. And, they moved it ah. and what's funny is during Tombstone, they were actually getting ready to start filming in with uh, The Quick and the Dead, which was almost back to back. And in some movies you might see, and it would be an illusion that the town's growing. But what's happening, it's very possibly, it's the next production company coming uh. in building for... So in, in some movies you, you don't have any idea, but there are uh, firefighters, like when they were burning down the buildings, and also in Tombstone, you'll see that some of the guys that are in costume that are running around are firefighters. Huh. So I have carpenters and a lot of people doing duty uh, while some of the going they on. They dress them up like extras or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay. yeah, yeah. This is actually an authentic uh, truck wagon. Uh, oh, wow. The Karcher's got it a few weeks ago. Uh, the, the plants, they're, they're, they came with all the tools and everything. Oh, wow. Cooking stuff, so. <laughs> well, that's neat. That is pretty neat. kid was a 19 year old Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh. Sharon actually uh, used some of her earnings to uh, have Leonardo actually paid to be in the, they, the production company said we're not, we're not having this kid he's, he's a nobody and she said I'm paying out of my pocket to have him in the production. Wow. She also helped pay for the Redemption Saloon. Oh. Huh. Which is still standing. But it's not real. It's not really there. Mr. Vanderspiegel, good afternoon, morning, evening. I'm not sure what day it is. So there's a piece of wood here we found that was uh, credited to the to Clint Eastwood's production company and somewhat faded over time. You notice that in a couple of the buildings we'll go in, the ceilings are really high. The reason for that, and there's a there's a common board that runs around, that they would have cameras and lights uh. up high and out of the way. Today, it's probably not quite as necessary because of the digital aspect of the photography. So, and then of course all this is props, and being props, we try to make everything sparingly and make it efficient as 
possible. Oh, so you can see. <laughs> you don't even. It's not. You don't even have polarized. to fill the whole thing. <laughs> so there's toilet paper rolls. Wow. Have you seen the bolts of fabric? Are those just oh. one wrap like? Yeah, it's a board with just a little fabric wrap on the back. Huh. Well, does I remember this pattern from when I was a kid? Well, plus, <laughs> yeah, I think it's. Uh, they also made shirts out of it too. <laughs> but in some of the other buildings, you'll see this wonderful wallpaper. It's just bolts of materials, and they're stapled to the wall, and then they put the framing around it or wrap around it. Wow. And we actually have some of the bolts with a certificate of authenticity for sale in the gift shop that, that was in the uh, tomb shop. Oh, pretty neat. So depending on what you need, part of the job of the movie set would be to help provide it. With the, and sometimes the, the movie, the production company has their own carpenters, or and then some of the others would be demands. Neat. So the front of the church, which was the, and we saw the back of it as a, uh, the barn, the barn, uh, that was in Farhaven, and also, was it Sweetwater? Sweetwater. Sweetwater is a, uh, what's the network on that? The, uh, INSP. Yeah, Inspiration INSP. Network. Ah. And that's the top, the, the steeple's removable. It can be painted, it can be changed. I think the, the well's empty. <laughs> All dry. So the hotel was three stories. Bernie Dingus McGee was uh, a lot more fancier and it had been moved. Um, it was also a different color. It's been in different colors. It's been red. It's been blue. It had different names. The first, the first time the uh, the herbs come into town, this is where they stop the wagon. Oh, okay. Okay, so they stop. They meet Sheriff Behan over there. Um, this is where they get acquainted with the town. Uh, the sheriff uh, offers him a job. He goes, I'm retired. And he said, well, I do have a couple um, cottages that you can rent. So that's where that all okay. transpired here. Uh, it was also a place where during Tom Horn, where there was a, uh, I said the guy was shooting at him. So he, in the mud, he took out his rifle. Dismissed. In Tombstone, what, second or third window is where, then actually we've been working on that because uh, there's been a lot of uh, filming up there. It was all ladies of the night. The bordellos were up there. One of our legends, who's not here, Lens over there on the left, he's a legend. He's been in several movies. But the there was a lady that was in, who's a legend, who's not here today. Uh, but she was in the bed and when they, when Wyatt storms in, uh, she covers up. Well, the director wanted her to cover up slowly so it would show more, but she refused. And after like eight or nine takes, they just said, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> so she takes credit for the movie being PG and not R. <laughs> so, so is that an actual second story up there? Or is it, it is, yeah. it is, yes. And uh, slowly but surely it's becoming more uh, habitable which is good for filming purposes. Let's walk inside. All right. You don't you don't even need to take that. You can just leave it. Okay.